All right, Stu, you asked for it, so we're going to do a shootout of Dad Guitars. Here we go. This is a uh, Mazzy Stars uh, Into Dust. Or as close as I can get. Take it up a bit and pluck the strings a little harder. Unknown Spanish Mexican, I don't know, nobody can tell me. And now, this is Dad's um, 1964 LG1. Now, big difference, right? That's a very wide fretboard classical guitar with nylon strings. I mean, the top three are. Um, steel wound but still they're nylon strings right so uh, tone wise it's not fair so well draw your own conclusions And this, the, the difference you're seeing here is, right, these strings are a lot closer together than they are on the classical guitar. So I'm, my picking is totally sucking here. Try to pick it up a bit here and uh, hammer a little bit harder on the strings like we did on the other one. down again so very soft For one more fun thing to do, I'm going to add in uh, the um, Seagull Acoustics that I've bought recently. Hang on. All right. 
modern Canadian made guitar in a cedar top. Again, steel strings, not a fair uh, competition. <laughs> Take it up a bit. It's going to get really bright here, so. So I'm very interested in what everybody thinks about this because we've got um, a very old, well, I mean, I can't really tell how old it is, um, nylon string guitar that was beat to death by putting metal strings on it. Somebody needs to be beaten over that, by the way, Stuart, right? Um, that actually plays quite well. It's like he's gone out of tune again because it's a nylon guitar. wrong with it. So, I mean, the problem here is, well, it's not a problem, right? So, th they're nylon strings, so they flex a lot more. So, they're, they're, they don't vibrate, they don't move in the ellipse as much as the other, as a, as a steel string would do. So, they're not as bright. It's not as loud. It's not as loud. It's not as bright. It's not as top end. But I mean, I'm I'm kind of curious what everybody thinks. So comments. <laughs>